Hi, I'm Renee, and I clean, declutter, and organize my followers' homes for free. In this episode, I will organize and declutter underneath the bathroom sink and an entire basement. This is part two from the December 14th video I posted. If you haven't watched this video yet, go here first. These clothes are in the basement cedar room. Do you remember all of the clothes that were in the master closet in the previous video? Leave a comment below on how you decide which clothes to keep or donate when you go through your closet. I will do before and after videos after I complete each area. So I'll start with the bathroom vanity first. I did not turn on my camera when I took everything out of this vanity. So I guess we'll start with me putting everything back. Everything I took out, she went through and discarded old product and this is what was left to put back in. She was sitting over my right shoulder letting me know how often she uses the product and product placement. On to the best part, the cedar clothes closet. She was sitting just outside the door. As I pulled items off the rack, she decided if she wanted to donate them or keep them. I know what you're thinking, yes this is a lot of clothes. This took the majority of the time in the basement as she had to decide if it was the right size, and if she still wanted it. Okay, the clothes on the rack have been decided, and now she's going to decide about the clothes on the floor. So after she went through all of those clothes, this is what's left. And these clothes will go into the upstairs master closet. She did a great job paring down all of these clothes. So this section was just right outside the cedar room. So a quick backstory. This is part two of this couple's home. They have been married for 45 years. Her brother has recently passed away and there are many items in the basement that are his. The wife had a failed back surgery and has a hard time with mobility.
She had this extra container in the basement. So the thought process here was all of these photos that are in this cardboard box need to go into the plastic so they do not get moldy or get ruined. So I'm boxing up empty boxes that her crystal goes in. She decided she didn't want to keep the boxes anymore. But remember these boxes, they will show up later. That was one heavy box. It was full of books. She is sitting just outside the cedar room and will go through the box to see what books she wants to keep. The majority of them were donated. Some of the items on the racks were camping supplies and they no longer wanted them.
Remember those boxes? They ended up back on the shelf. The decision was made to keep them in case they ever moved. So then I started on another area of the basement and this was her crafting scrapbooking area. She was sitting just outside that doorway as I was asking her questions about what to keep. I'm lucky enough to help this family, and when you watch this video to the end, you're helping other families to declutter and organize their homes. The homeowner is now sitting to my right, letting me know what stays and goes. I'm so glad I could help this family. It is amazing how fast we can accumulate all of the holiday gift wrap.
And this is the final room in the basement. A lot of the items here had already been gone through by the homeowner. You'll see several Christmas boxes to the right, and she went through those and purged a lot of the items. I made six donation trips in my van. Please feel free to hit the like button because it lets me know how useful this video is to you and if I should create more content like this. My next video is ready for you to watch. We'll see you there.